After a long day of hard work, Thomas the Tank Engine was finally making his way home. But to his surprise, there were two individuals standing on the platform at Farquhar, waving at him. One of them, a young woman, was holding something Thomas had never seen before. Thomas stopped in front of them, looking very confused indeed. Who are you? And what on earth is that horrid contraption you're holding? The girl holding the thing laughed. This isn't just some horrid contraption. It's a gramophone. It plays music to sing along to. Just try it. Thomas looked at the gramophone. And then his soon-to-be opponent. Right then, let's give it a try. Sudo. I'm Sir Topham Hat, and this is Thomas. It is a splendid day on the island, and we can't wait to take you on the thrilling adventures of Big Engine Brawl. So get your tickets and hop on board for non-stop excitement. To play through the main songs of Big Engine Brawl, select Story Mode. If you wish to select one of your favorite songs, as well as some bonuses, please choose Free Play. Big Engine Brawl comes with exciting achievements for you to uncover. To view these achievements in my office, select Awards. To change various settings such as difficulty and graphics, please choose Options. Lastly, you can view and support all of the amazing people who helped to create this experience by visiting the credits. With so many places for you to explore, you and Thomas had better get started. All aboard! Every morning, at the crack of dawn, a large train filled with fish from the harbor is pulled by Henry the Green Engine. 
this responsibility is Henry's alone, and he loves it very much. But one morning, while he was waiting for his train to be loaded, he spotted two unfamiliar figures standing next to him that he did not recognize. One of them, a boy with blue hair holding a microphone in his hand. The other was a girl holding a gramophone. Uh, hello? What are you two doing so early in the morning around here of all places? Beep. It looks like you've got some time before your train leaves. How about a song to pass the time? She pointed to the microphone that the boy standing next to her was holding. Henry didn't seem to understand. Singing? Don't be silly. Engines don't sing. What would the fat controller say? <laughs> don't worry, this stays between us. At last, Henry sighed. <sighs> All right. But only one song. The kipper is due to leave any minute now. Don't worry, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah! <laughs> As the song drew to a close, a smile formed on Henry's face. Now that was interesting. I especially enjoyed the part of the song where... But before Henry could finish, the harbour manager ran up to him, right in the face. What are you still doing here, Henry? He said. The kipper was due to leave ages ago. Henry tried to explain himself, but to no avail. The boy and girl who convinced him to sing had vanished. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Feeling defeated, Henry chuffed away quietly with the flying killer. Later that morning, James the Red Engine sat idly with his train. Where am I driver and fireman? I just want this dirty job with these dirty trucks to be over already. Just then, the boy and girl who had sung with Henry walked up to James. 
Are you two supposed to be my crew? I bet I've never seen you before. And you're so small. <laughs> Don't worry. You can trust us. We'll make sure that your next round is both splendid and exciting. This guy right here has been aching to go for a song with you for some time now. What do you think about one while we're on our way? James paused for a moment. He looked at the two of them. The microphone and gramophone. He was skeptical at first, but thought it'd be best to play along. All right then. Let's get a move on, shall we? Three, two, one, go! Time had passed on the island of Sodor after James's accident, and upon his return, there was one engine in particular who was not fond of the idea of meeting a similar fate. Soon, the dynamic duo approached him as well. Oh no you don't! I've heard all about you! First you delay the flying kipper and Henry goes flying off the rails trying to make up for lost time! Then you hijack James's cab and he gets put out of commission too! The two glared at the large steam locomotive looking down at them. The engine glared back. Do you have any idea how much work I had to do when they were gone? I shall stay right where I am until the two of you are gone from this island. There was a long silence. <sighs> Look, I'll tell you what. If you can beat him, in a musical battle, the two of us will leave here. For good. Is that right? Gordon the big engine let off steam and approached them out of his shed. You have a deal. Three, two, one, go! Oh, <laughs> 
over. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. Henry! I'm on it! Just can't do anything right, can ya? Whatever. But that isn't important right now. The issue at hand are these two pissants that have been gallivanting around our railway, making fools of the lot of us. It's just disgraceful! Disgusting! Despicable! And we cannot allow it. You wanted a brawl, little whatever you are? We'll show you what big engines can really do. <laughs> He went red in the face and was about to tell the two what he thought about their victory. Why, you little... But just then, he heard a whistle. It was Thomas the Tank Engine. Hello, you three. Oh, just great. Hello, little Thomas. Here to make everything worse, I presume? That depends, Gordon. Is my presence bothering you? Out of Thomas's cab came the fat controller. Man in charge of all the engines on Sodor. My engines don't hold strikes. Surely you've gathered that by now. Sir, I can explain. You see, there have been these two midgets and these charlatans, sir. They've been... Just look, they're right here. Where, Gordon? Oh, the indignity. Surely you don't think that those two would stick around. <laughs> I understand that James and Henry's absences left you with a larger workload, Gordon. But on my railway, we work through adversity. We don't run away from it. But before Gordon could utter another word, the fat controller hopped back into Thomas's cab as he puffed away, snickering cheekily. The three were left to sulk in their shed. They wondered if their big engine brawl was really worth all the trouble. I sure think it was, don't you?
Make this quick. This railway needs its controller. <laughs>
this again.